Today we'll be looking at visualizing and drawing solid shapes. So I've already drawn some of the more common shapes that you'll see in our math lesson, starting here with what's called a pyramid. And this particular pyramid has a square or rectangular base. So as we go through and identify them, I'm just going to write down a name underneath each of the shapes. So we said this is a pyramid. Now if we move over here, this is what's called a cylinder. And cylinders are, in real life examples, things like a can or a Pringles container where the top and the bottom are both circular shapes. And there's one shape that wraps around that if I actually were to dissect it would look a, a lot like a rectangle. And we'll draw that in a moment, but first let's identify that it's a cylinder. Our next shape is what we call a prism. And a prism is a shape that has a top and a bottom or adjacent sides that are the same. And last but not least, we have what's called a cone. And it looks a lot like an upside down ice cream cone. Now if we're to dissect and actually draw these shapes, we have to stop and see well, what would it look like from each angle? What would the pyramid look like if I was underneath it? Well all I would really see is this square or rectangle. So it would have one piece that looks like this. From the side, I would see a triangle. And from the front, I would also see a triangle. So here I have the three pieces that make up this solid. Now let's go back to the cylinder. Remember, it kind of looks like a can. So if I were to take this apart, what I'd actually have is a circle, that's top, a circle, which is the bottom. And now this piece here, we actually picture it as a rectangle that's been wrapped around the top and bottom circle, and that's how we make a cylinder. Now if we come over to prism, what do we see on top? It looks to be a square. What do we see on bottom? Another square. Front and sides happen to be a rectangle. Now with the cone, it's a little bit harder to dissect and draw. Easy part of the cone is we know there's a circle. Now, much like the cylinder, this triangular piece of the cone, the pointed piece of the cone, is actually one piece that's just wrapped around as well. So just to simplify, I'm going to make it look something like a triangle because we've got a picture, like maybe a piece of paper that were to wrap around a circle and make a cone or a funnel shape. Or if you think of, like we said before, an ice cream cone, you know, the circle is the opening, but it's actually one piece that's wrapped around to make like a waffle cone. So one more time, we have a pyramid which has different shaped base. In this case, it's a rectangle or a square. We have a cylinder which is made up of two circles and a rectangle that wraps around. A prism has the same top and bottom or adjacent sides. And then a cone is made of one circle and this pointed piece that wraps together.